what up though this your boy doc now we're gonna play i'm gonna play a video of a conversation that i was having with two of my homeboys one named lero and another guy named lj both from two different regions two different walks of life possibly similar type of lifestyles but from two different areas but we talking about one common thing now my particular position in this video is not to provide any information Essentially, it was to be just a moderator, which the conversation did get kind of heated, but not in a negative way, you know, but you will hear as the conversation progresses how it turns out. More or less, my position is to ask each individual questions because I know both of them have different outlooks on the same situation. So, you know, you see what the title is. So just stick around and listen because I see a lot of people in the comment section, even when I'm talking about something music related they'll kind of revert it back to what the topic of this conversation is uh, supposed to be about, you know. So drop a comment and I'll let your boy this DOC. Peace. Yeah, yeah. 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 And uh, what was we talking? We were just talking. It was actually we were talking about a lot of different shit and it just went off in the direction of like our people as a whole. Um, what yeah. exactly what was we talking about? I mean, we were just we were just oh. talking about. Uh, oh, I don't know who you who you talking about. Me or him? You, you. I'm saying how we even started talking about the conversation that we got into earlier today. We were just we were just talking about like some of the conditions um, and and state of you know our people as a whole. And I just went off on a tangent because or into. The fact that, you know, it's a lot of stuff that's in the Bible that as far as like laws go, you know, not looking at it from a, a religious perspective or aspect. But, you know, if we if any people for, for that matter, follow a lot of the laws that's in the Bible, we would we would be, you know, a different people. We, we would be alleviated from a lot of the uh, conditions that we are. Um, in right now to this day, and that, that was basically like just that how we got into it. So then, when he said that, so I was like, "What would you say to the um, to the people that feel like the Bible was pushed upon our people from Europeans <laughs> as a form of control?" And then that's when he would, you know, had like some other questions, and then you came into mind because I see the type of stuff that you post, and I was like, "This actually, yeah, <laughs> would be a great conversation." Definitely. Right. You know, so right. um, um what I would say to that is, um, you're right and you're wrong at the same time. And the reason that you're right and you're wrong at the same time is kinda complex. So I'm gonna try to break it down for everybody. The reason you're right is because I give all the religious literature um its respects, you know what I'm saying, to a degree. Because you right. cannot say that all of it is not beneficial. If you actually read it, if you have any knowledge about it, you can't say that all of it is not beneficial. Because if you say that, you're lying. You know what I'm saying? You're lying to yourself. Now, right. where I say the wrong comes in is because there's a lot of people right now that's very, very, very religious. They stick to their religious roots. Very very deeply and they're going through hell and back you know what i'm saying they're doing worse than people that don't know what a bible is or don't know what a quran is or don't know who buddha is you know they don't know nothing about none of that you know what i'm saying they have no religious structure and their lives are going much better than the people that do have the religious structure mm -hmm. so that leads me to think that um it has benefits and it doesn't have benefits. I feel it's destroyed the black race more than anybody else. You know what I'm saying? Because it was forced upon us during slavery. You got to think about it. If we're in jail right now, let's say all three of us in jail, and we don't have no type of hope, you know what I'm saying? Like, we have no hope. And somebody tell you, hey, look, bro, do you believe in this? Your life's going to change. You know what I'm saying? Everything gonna get better. As long as you believe in this, you're gonna believe in it. You know what I'm saying? No matter what, you're gonna believe in it. Mm -hmm. So when you get to that point and you look at it from that point of view, 
you could see how I say it destroyed the black community in several ways that we could discuss over time. But uh, I'm gonna let you go ahead and talk instead of keep on, you know, holding up on it. No, 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 no. It's 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 good that you uh you know you you talking so I can you know understand where you coming from and, and your perspective. So don't don't think uh that you that you hold nobody up, you know. But um, okay. I, okay. I, w- I want to ask you, like, are you, did you experience that, like, in your life? Did you, you felt like, like, I don't, I don't, I don't know your background or, or nothing like that, but were you, um, mm-hmm. since you mentioned it, were you incarcerated and you felt like, you know what I'm saying, the Bible or that particular religion was forced upon you? No, I'll tell you exactly what happened with me. Um, I've had ups and downs in my life. You know, it had been times where I felt completely hopeless. And the only thing that stuck in my head was the religion I've been given since I was born. You know what I'm saying? That's Christianity. That's what I was taught from birth. So when I got to that point in my life where I was like, damn, you know, there's times where I kind of played killing myself. You know what I'm saying? Because I was going through that much type of shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, damn, I don't care if I'm gone tomorrow. You know, when I was at a low state of mind. You know, I was, I, I didn't have my, I had a very weak mind at that time. And mm-hmm. what gave me hope was that religion. So mm-hmm. I know how powerful religion is. It's very, mm-hmm. very, very, very powerful. And when you, when you look at it from that point of view, it's not many things in life that can stop somebody from killing themselves. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Think of anything that could pretty much stop somebody from killing themselves and what the person going to say, God, you know? Right. That's what they're going right. to say, you know? That's what they're going to say. So when you look at it that way, you see how powerful it is. So right. it's powerful for good in that aspect. You know, it's a lot of people that would kill themselves, for example, like me, I would have killed myself if I didn't have that hope at that time. You know what I'm saying? Mm. If I didn't have that mm. hope. Right, oh, right, 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 and I'm, uh, I'm, I'm. You see I'm, what I'm uh, saying now? Yeah, man, I'm glad. I'm glad. Uh, I don't even know how to say that. I, that I'm glad that uh, you know, you found that hope, and uh, you know. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You, 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 you strayed away from from those thoughts. You know what I'm saying? That's 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 a big yes, deal. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So what would For real? You, so what would you say, Larry? As far as when he say. It's feel and correct me if I'm misquoting you, but when you say like uh, like overall, it did. You said like overall it did more bad for the community. W- like, what's your mm-hmm. thoughts on that? You know, from your perspective, Larry. I think um, <clears throat> that's a that's a that's a very good question. And um, if you look at it at face value, that is true. You know what I'm saying because. Um, a lot of people know, okay, say for instance, right, not only was it given out in, you know, certain institutions, and I'm talking about the Bible or uh, pushing this um, religion, so to speak, um, it, the, one of the main places we got it from was in church, right? We all can gr- agree on that. Okay. We also know that um, all of, ma- mainly all of the churches have to abide by certain um, rules to keep their, you know, tax exemptions just like the schools, right? Correct. We, we, we know that, right? So, okay, so there's certain things that they can teach in schools and what they can, and, and certain things they can teach in church that's not necessarily everything that we need to know, Right. Right. So, in, in, in my opinion, and I, I, I want to say more than opinion, I, I would like to say that it's fact that um, they they basically fed us with some of the information that was, you know, within this, I'm just going to call it a book, right? Yeah. Within this book that basically they were allowed to give us you know what i mean they they basically like okay say say back in slavery times right um yes sir they only used 
the they will only pull the scriptures out of the Bible or 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 the slave masters would have other other um um slaves that could read to 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 preach and to pull out specific passages and scriptures in the Bible that would get the rest of the slaves to act accordingly to how um the slave owners wanted them to act. You know what I mean? In 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 the fa act in the fashion that was beneficial to that plant for for the for that plantation. They wanted them to behave a certain way, so the the preachers or or, or the slave preachers were coaxed to get them in line using this scripture, these scriptures. And the reason it worked was because before slavery and this is this is my opinion and i also want to say that i believe that it's fact that um you know we had a natural affinity and and was naturally drawn to the word because you know it, it's it's our history it's our records it's no other it's no other um complete document well it's not even complete it's so many books that have been removed from it but yeah. that is the most intact uh historical record of our people now okay i say our my people our people right a lot of people a, a, a big difference say you know that's that's that don't got nothing to do with uh, us specifically you know what i'm saying but yeah. you know the more and more i i, I got into the word, you know, with my peers, other people with, with the same views, you know, just just hungry for knowledge, just just seeking the truth, you know. When we actually sat down and immersed ourselves in the word and read and read and read and researched, you know what I'm saying? We find a whole lot of different hints and context of who this people, who who this book is about. You know what I mean? Like like for instance. How I, I was, um, how we were talking about earlier, and you know, I we, I mentioned that a lot of the stuff that we're going through, and the conditions that we're going through now as a people, have been. Uh, it was it was already said that if if we stray away from the laws, this was in the this was in the Bible. If we stray away from these laws then these things are going to happen to us. You know what I mean? To, to this people, mm -hmm. to this chosen people, to God's chosen people. Yeah. And, 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 and I use, I use God, uh, um, you know, I, I don't really, I don't really believe that that's the creator's name. You know what I'm saying? I'm just, I'm just using it because yeah. every, you know, that's, that's a common, um, uh, a name or, or whatever, a title for, you know, for y'all to understand what I'm talking about. Okay, but, um, uh, yeah. um, uh, you know, that was that was God's message to us, to to His chosen people that if we strayed away from these laws, these things were going to happen. You know what I mean? And yeah. like we could, we could, we could quote the Bible and it say like, for instance, um, since you since you strayed away from the since you since you went away from the law, now you shall be. Uh, cursed. Your people, uh, my people, shall be cursed. You know what I mean? Like, for instance, um, mm -hmm. you shall be called, you shall be called a high word and a by word, right? You shall have right. yokes of iron upon your neck. You know what I mean? You shall be slow. I mean, so, so, um, so as bond men and bond women. You know what I'm saying? You will be brought into Egypt again by ships. You know what I'm saying? And it's like those. Those little hints, as you keep going through the Bible, it's like, man, no other people on the face of the earth has gone through all of these things. You know what I'm saying? Together, yeah. consecutively. You know what I mean? It's, 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 you know, you might have this culture over here or these people over here that were in slavery. You know what I'm saying? But they weren't, they didn't go into slavery by ships or, you you got these yeah. people that have yoke of iron yoke of iron upon their neck, you know what I'm saying? But they want they didn't have they they didn't uh, not have a nation, you know what I'm saying? It says you you shall not have a nation, 
or a name, you, you know what I'm saying? Or, 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 and you shall be dispersed all throughout the world. You know what I mean? So when you have these things, yeah. these examples, or, um, or these, these characteristics of these people being, being, um, spoken to from the creator in, in the Bible, you like, man, after, after, after you count up all these things, it can only be talking about one people. It can only be right. talking about us. You know what I'm saying? And then it go further on as far as like describing who the, who the people are, what they look like. So you know what I'm saying? You. The reasons they come from. So let me ask this question then for uh, either mm -hmm. or either one of you guys, as far as people that, you know, one of them yeah. may have the knowledge. Um, so what was the actual and not even say religion if that's the correct term or not, or what was the laws or the religion that the original Africans were reading or abiding by prior to either the Bible or before coming to America? I would, well, uh, I, 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 oh, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, I just want to elaborate a little bit on, um, on that one. Uh, I, hey, look, bro. I really appreciate how you uh, you brought out some good points. Uh, I, I want to let you know I appreciate that, and we're gonna talk about it. We we'll get a little further. In. But uh, you said what was like um, we were African, you know, what was African spirituality? Right. What were we practicing before Christianity? Um, you just gotta do a little research on that, and it, you can look on Google and find this. Um, I'm saying this back African people, African descent were uh were uh, practicing voodoo at the time before anything any type of christianity was uh forced upon us because it was a forced upon us in my opinion i think that that came about during slavery we were forced upon to take a take a part of the christianity and like i said we were doing voodoo pre-christianity years so that was what african spirituality was you know, that was our religion. If you go look back and even Haiti as well, Haitian, and to this day in Africa and Haiti, voodoo is the uh, the cultural religion in those places. You know, that's that's what we studied. That's what we lived by before pre-Christianity, you know, before any of that was introduced to our people. Right, yeah. I'm, yeah, I mean, I, 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 I would... Uh... See, my thing is I ask these questions not only from... I'm look, you know, any question I ask is always going to be from the context of possibly what a viewer that's listening to this, you know what I'm saying? So they can make sure they be informed, get information, and then also to just spark, you know, further dialogue because people, you know, may have difference of opinion or different knowledge or whatever the case may be, you know what I'm saying? Like, because <clears throat> that's what I'm just still trying to, from listening to both of you guys, what information y'all bring to the table, just not say, you know, not saying creating a timeline but in a sense creating a timeline to you know to see if it's like a mutual understanding or do both individuals on both parts almost believe in the same thing but just from a different point of view you know what i'm saying like so that's basically the reason why you know throughout this conversation i'm gonna ask certain questions you know to make sure the viewer you know is getting filled in with everything right but i, I got a question for him. okay he made a good point as far as um, you know, uh, bringing up the the the, the fact of um, you know voodoo practices, most specifically, I can I can um, I can support uh, Haiti as far as practicing voodoo. I'm not um, certain about um, any uh, of, of voodoo practices in Africa, but. What I do want to say is, oh, and I'm not, I don't, I don't, I didn't mean to say, but, but also on, to add to that, I want to ask you, um, cause you mentioned that this particular, uh, uh, and I don't like to use religion cause I'm not a religious person. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and I say that because religion is one of the tools that was used to divide our people. You know what I mean? So I don't, I don't, I don't like to say religion, but um, you mentioned that this this text or whatever, the Holy Bible, however you want to put it, 
was forced upon us um, during slavery, right? Okay, yeah. I asked you, I asked you, I asked you, well, how do you feel about the settings, the dates, and the time that are real historical records that can be cross-checked by other um, supporting documentation of the places and dates that's recorded in the Bible that predates slavery? Okay, that's a good point. I'm glad you said that. Now, remember, if we go back to when I started, I said there's certain things in the Bible that we can say is true. You know, I'm not right. I'm not somebody that says every single thing in the Bible isn't true because some of it is. In any religious doctrine, if you if you study any of them, um, all of them have a certain amount of truth. You know, you can't say everything is not true. That's not the message I'm trying to send to anybody that's listening to this. Uh, if I did come across that way, I apologize. That's not what I'm trying to say. I'm just saying that overall, there's certain things in the book that outweigh the um, the, the the actual facts. Like you say, it's factual things that are in the Bible, for say. And it out, you look at that, and it's like a controversy. You know, it's really for, for I agree. A middle a middle standpoint where you're like, okay, well, if all this is true, where's the evidence? for these other events, you know what I'm saying? Like, what, how agree. can we prove that these things happen? You know, like a certain miracle. How can we prove that happen? So when you get to, when you get that point. But hold on, hold on, but hold on, but hold on, though. Hold on, though. I, and I don't mean to cut you off, right? No, you, 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 just, good, man. you just, you just, hold on. You just, you just basically taught us that prior to Christianity, our people, mm -hmm. Africa, Haiti, right. maybe some other other countries, was practicing right. voodoo. Right? That's what we yeah. call it today. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's that's what we call it today. You know what I mean? But right. who's, who, who, you know? who's, the, who's to say? Who's to say if somebody watched some priest in Haiti? If the same people went and bumped into the so-called, you know, who we call Jesus. I don't believe that's his name, right? Yeah. For a miracle that we call it. Hey. They probably look hey. at it just like voodoo, right? Hey, man, you got a good point right there. I never <laughs> thought of it. That you know way. what I'm saying? Like, I never thought of it that way. Because, look, this is why, this why you didn't think of it. And this is why you didn't think of it this way, because... I agree with you. What well, you saying that everything in the Bible is not true, right? We know for a fact that it's a lot of books that have been removed from the Bible for one, right? Oh, yeah, definitely. Then yeah, definitely. we also know we also know that one of the main testaments that have been, uh, I would say, projected upon us. Is the mm -hmm. New Testament, and this this is our this is basically yeah. like where our, where our conversation earlier, you know, picked up picked off at yeah. or or picked left off at, and I said this is where we was messed up, you know what I mean? They took us, they yeah. took us, they stripped us of everything, stripped us stripped us of our our language, our heritage, right? Then yeah. they found they found our they they took our records, which I'm calling the Bible, they took our doctrine, yeah. right? And said, "Okay, this is this is how we control them, right? But if we right. if we if we we can't not give them nothing, so we have to use what 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 they have used to control themselves against them. So, okay, oh. what can we do? We have to make them, and this is my opinion, we have to make them feel like discipline is no longer necessary." Right, you don't have to yeah. be disciplined. All you have to do, New Testament, is uh, uh, ask, b b believe, believe that um, Jesus Christ um, died for our sins on the cross. Ask for forgiveness. Ask Him to come into your life and love, love your neighbor like you love yourself. And that's all you got to do. Right. Like, wow, really? I don't, I don't have to. I don't have oh. to. Uh, 
neglect myself of 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 eating unhealthy. I don't have to neglect myself of being adulter adulterous. Um, yeah. I hope I use that word, or or I don't have to worry about adultery, or I don't have to worry about murder and robbing and stealing. All I got to do is is is, yeah. is 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 ask for forgiveness, and and, I, and I'm good, and accept the Lord, accept Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior, and I'm good. Cool. Yeah. That's yeah. where they got us. You know what I'm saying? Really, they got man. us to throw away. Yeah. They got us to throw away the Old Testament. You know what I'm saying? Right. But the reason, but the reason I believe that the word is alive to us, to our people, is right. because even though they did that, when you go to the New Testament, it still say, Jesus say, I come not to do away with the law. Right. You know what I'm saying? I come not to do away with the law, but to fulfill it. You know what I'm saying? So in my opinion, some of the stuff that they even tried to take out, the word is so alive to us that they didn't even, they didn't even, they, they, it, it didn't work. We just don't read it. You know what I'm saying? We don't, we don't get into it. We, we look at it like, well, was this Bible is here, something mystical going to happen. And, and that's not the truth. You know what I'm saying? If you look at any other culture in the world, right, all the right. different religions and doctrines, you know, the core values in it is how to live right, how to live right. as, a, as a, and, and, and be and be a good people. So Larry, you know what I'm saying? Follow the law. So let him expound on what, he, what he was about to say. Okay, uh, all that is uh, you just made valid points, man. I, I, that man, you you really giving valid points, and uh, you sparking a little um. You sparking some things in my brain to uh, go deeper into uh, the search for truth, man. Um, I appreciate it. I appreciate it for you know for this, man, for putting me into this because it's something I need to hear. Well, I wanted um, to hear both I sides do because I'm this. always on the search for knowledge as well, you know. So I just I see what right. you post on Instagram, and I wanted to you know let you go deep, and then the same thing vice versa. So then, you know. Right. I feel like if you don't get information from both sides on anything, then you've never make a Yeah, we teaching decision. each other. We teaching each other, man. Yeah. We teaching each other, you know. Right. Exactly. Exactly. So uh the, the thing is, uh that I do believe that if the Bible definitely is the word of our people, if it is, okay, and and you have to use the if factor, but just say if it is, you have to ask yourself a question. As a man or a woman, whoever listening to this right now, you have to ask yourself this question. Why would my God allow this to happen to me? Why would my God allow me to be deceived? Now, sit and think on that for just a second. You know what I'm saying? Literally think on that for a second before we go any further. We're talking about the highest being possible okay it's nothing higher than god you know what i'm saying that's like that's it's you can't explain it it's nothing higher than that so that's the right. almighty power okay right this is right. somebody that loves you he wants nothing but the best for you right 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 that's why he gave you the book in the first place right right so when so someone look, asks though, yourself um, huh no, I'm saying, no, okay, I'm go ahead. Saying. Go ahead. Yeah, when you ask yourself why would uh this guy that loves me so much let me be deceived, you look at you look at well what is the definition of God? You know what I'm saying? What what is God to each and every person? See if you ask somebody that, they're gonna have a you get a hundred different answers. You know what I'm saying? They're gonna all tell you something different. So that that's where I go that's why I had to come in with this because we, we we're basing a lot of things around that book, man. That that one Bible. We got to keep in mind, it's over five thousand active religions today that all have, um, they have things to live by. They have, like I said, they have things in them that make sense that people can live by every single day. When you look at it that that way, you got to ask yourself, well, what is God? What is God to me? How do I know God 
and how do I know which one is true? That's the thing. That's the biggest question because that's what we don't ask ourselves. Since birth, Doc, I'm sure you were, and I'm sure you were, brother. I, I don't know your name, but we, we need to tell each other our names. Lara, 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 Lara. Yeah, Mel J, man, Mel J. So, uh, yeah, Jay, you know, we were brought up as Christians, I believe, right? Y'all, right. Y'all were brought up as Christians, right? Pretty much. Right. I was. Yeah. So if we were born in uh if we were born in Iraq, we'll most likely be Muslim. You know what I'm saying? Right. If we were born in China, we'll most likely be Buddhist. You know what I'm saying? Right. So if we were born in Haiti, we'll most likely practice voodoo. You know what I'm saying? Right. So when you look at it from that point of view, you have to ask yourself, Well, what is God? And and, and you gotta go deeper than the book. That's how I became the person I am, and I no longer have no type of ties to actual, you know, religious doctrines to a degree. I do have, you know, I do believe in spirituality. I do believe that we are spiritual beings to a degree, but I don't believe that, you know, these books that we believe in, you know, right now to this day are, you know, an actual blueprint because each one has a downside to it. Because like you say, we don't have the original. If we had the original Bible, then we could tell each other, yo, this is true. And nobody can tell me it's not true. When it, when we, right. if we had that, then there's nothing nobody could say. We cannot debate. Right now we wouldn't have this debate because it could be no debating. With law is law. You feel me? Right. So when, when you look at it from that point of view, you have to ask, you have to search for more. You have to search from beyond what we've been taught and you have to jump outside that box of, you know, the Bible. And that might not even be the name of it, man. It could be something else. You know, we, it could have been something else. And we could have, how do we not know all these religions did not stem from one big religion that was just cut it up? It is. And up. that's a good point. And that's it. That's, you that's know, a good, that's a, that's a very good point. That's a very good point. Yeah. And that's what I, that, that's what I was about to get to. Right, like you mentioned, yeah. you mentioned uh, um, Islam, right? You mentioned Christianity, you mentioned yes. Buddhism. You know what I'm saying? If you yeah. look at, if you look at these different religions, right? They all have a core, a core to them that is basically based on the law that these people are supposed to live by. And they're just about parallel. You know what I'm saying? If, right. if, if you, if Islam goes by the Torah, the Torah is the first five books of the Bible. You know what I'm saying? Right. Jew, uh, the the, right. the so-called uh, Jewish people, they go by the, to the Torah and also the Talmud, but the Torah is... It transcends all, just about all religions, but nobody, nobody, nobody says that that's the most, now, now, now why is that? You know what I'm saying? No, nobody promotes that that's the most important part of the, these doctrines. Right. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So it's like, I don't know. Yes. I'll edit out this pause right here because the question I'm gonna end up asking is um as far as the Bible, the Quran, you know, Muslim Christianity and all that. Um, cause I'm trying to think. I don't. Right. I don't. And this part I'm gonna have edited out. But I'm trying to think. I don't know if okay. I've ever seen a speech from like Louis uh from Farrakhan, if it was him or someone else when they were like speaking to Allah. That's just. Is that. Is it correct that that's just another way of saying God? So is it that all these religions are oh. still quote unquote praising the same individual just in their own terms, their own language, their own way? But the only thing that separates them all is just they have particular guidelines that they they go by. Man, Doc, that's that's the truth right there, and that's I'm serious. That's a great question to ask when, when once you know once old boy 
back and we ready to, you know, get it in the front. Because I'm, I'm trying to figure that, that's out. That's a wonderful thing. You know, that's... I'm, I'm serious. Yeah. And, you know, I've been thinking the same way, bro. I'm serious. I've really been thinking the same way over yeah. time because, man, this, this is a good conversation, bro. It, I swear, we got to really promote this and put this video out, bro. Yeah. We need to let people hear this because, man, this will spark a lot of a lot of talking, and it will it will spark some people to think. And man, we gonna promote this, man. We yeah. we gonna put this out. We yeah, gotta promote this. Because like the, the question yeah. that you asked me about, uh, you know, growing up being a kid, and you know, your parents tell you about Christianity, and then then once I got older, and like you know, move out the house, start looking at my, my my mom and stuff like that, and I can see, and this is not to say anything like disrespectful about her, but based upon. Right her religion and what she believed under Christianity or, you know, which is, uh, I guess a branch of that being Baptist and stuff like that. Like she automatically right. look at all Muslims, like there's something wrong with them. You know what I mean? And I'm like, and that's, and that's, and that's, and that's, and that's messed up because half of their text, yeah. half of their text is the, the same people. text we got. Right. It's just a lack of right? knowledge. It's the same text we got. And then, and then the other half of their text is actually talking about our text. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? When, when you actually read this stuff. And that's why right. as I get older and start looking at things from outside the box, I'm like, okay. But, so it's almost like... But before... It's almost the same thing, just within Christianity, you got different denominations. And then that's that was one of the things that made me shy away from the physicalness of going to churches. I'm like, okay, if I go to a Baptist church, they, they're talking right. bad about this denomination. When you go to this seven day, they're talking bad about this one. I'm like, so we focusing more on you trying to prove, you know what I'm saying, that this denomination is wrong and this one is right instead of us actually getting to something positive that I can leave out of here with something that's going to actually help me. I'm like, well, I might as well do my right. own studying on my own. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? To see right. if it exactly. actually benefit me as an individual and build my own personal relationship. You know, right. with a right. higher power, you know, but the question I ask, and I'll probably pick it back up here, but the uh, question that I yeah, ask. Yeah, hold on, 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 uh, God let this happen to us, right? Mm -hmm. right? Okay, so and this 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 is this is piercing, bro, and I don't I don't mean no offense when I say this, but yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm being yeah, straight up. Yeah, you talking? Okay. All right, you love yourself, right? Oh yeah, a hundred percent, man. Okay. At some point in time, you know, if you felt a certain kind of way about your life, you know what I'm saying? Even though you love right. yourself so much, what you think would happen right. if you stepped out in traffic in front of a car? Hey, Do it matter how much you love yourself? Do it matter how much you love yourself? You, that love ain't going to stop that car, right? Well, oh, yeah. Well, no. Definitely not. Definitely not. So, okay. You know what I'm saying? In my opinion, I... They, our creator does love us, right? But mm -hmm. if we are doing things that are in direct contradiction to how we're supposed to live, what's going to happen? We going to get hit. You know what I'm saying? And, and it's going to be unsurvivable. And that's, and that's what we're going mm -hmm. through. But if on the flip side, if we loved ourselves enough to follow follow the laws that was set forth for us, you know what I'm saying, by our ancestors, that's in our records, we won't we won't have to we won't have to suffer. Because we got evidence of that fact. The the one of the one of the top people, one of the one of the top uh cultures or people that's on the on, on top right now in the world are using our laws and our history. They basically put themselves in our 
our seat, our row. And they on top of the world right now. You know what I'm saying? That's still not to say that every day of your life is going to be perfect, though. Yeah. True. I mean, yeah, of course we're going to have struggle and strife. But I think about it, man. It, 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 you know, we know who that race is, and you got to keep it real. Not all them people happy, man. A lot of them feeling worse than us and doing worse than us, to be honest. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but that's but that's but that's because they they rebelling they they rebelling from it because it's a, it's a it's it's a bottom line, man. It's 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 fact. If you if you save your money or or you're not frivolous with your money, you gonna have money. You know what I'm saying? It's just it's just one plus one equals two. You know what I'm saying? So if you if you eat a certain kind of way, it's gonna affect you. You know what I'm saying? If you um. You know, do harm to your to your people. It's gonna come back on you. Stuff like that. All that stuff is in our records. It's already outlined. You know what I'm saying? But but the problem is, when we were taught in church and in school, it, you know, it ain't no fault to 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 our people who raised us. You know what I'm saying? Because like I like I was telling um, Dio earlier, we just now been legally able to read for the last fifty years. You know what I'm saying? So it's, it's, it's not, it's not, it's not their fault that they didn't know how to teach it. Right. All they knew that it was right. power in, it was power in here. They don't know what to read, but it's power in here. You know what I'm saying? But now we don't have no excuse to be ignorant, you know, to the laws, man. You know what I'm saying? And we just right. got to get back. We just got to get back to it, man. Uh, Period. You, and and I'm not trying to be you. on. LJ, Go what ahead. You gonna say to that? Oh, uh, my, what I was going to say to that was, uh, you got valid points, brother. You know what I'm saying? You got very valid, valid points. Um, the thing about that is, you know, you have to look at how I also said, let's just go back to this, the point out of point of how we got to this point, not just from how you said, not following laws. Uh, if, if that is the case, you have to look at when we, well, like you said, we couldn't read, we didn't know any better, you know, at that point in time, you have to stop right there. We couldn't read. We didn't know any uh-huh. better. So uh-huh. ask yourself, how did we get there? Like, who fault? Who do we actually blame for not being able to read and not knowing, you know, what was ignorant for us to do? Who can You're we right, actually that, blame? That, that's the question. Who do you blame? We can blame ourselves. We can blame ourselves because it's, it's, it's on record. It's on record that this us going into slavery was basically a product, a byproduct of us straying away from the law. So what you know you, what I'm saying? So that that was that was that was a that was a result. Uh, that was a result of of us of us of us going away. So what do you say? You know what I'm saying? It don't it don't stop there. It don't stop there. So what do you say? Go ahead, Dio. So what do you say if, as far as if a person would say, okay, during slavery, during that period of time, that it was certain tribes in Africa that was selling off the weaker tribes to the Europeans, what would you say about that in reference to what you're saying right now? Okay, I, I, I got it. I got, I, that's, that's a fantastic question, right? right. You also find you also find in our records that every... Every co- it, there, every culture, you know what I'm saying, within our, I don't want to use race because it's only one race, you know what I'm saying, but every, 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 every black people were not chosen people. And that's, that's also in the Bible. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, right. I don't want, I don't want to get too, get too deep into that, but it, it was specific, it was specific people that were that were that were chosen it was specific tribes you know what i'm saying and it was millions of people millions of people outside of the the the, the chosen tribes you know what i'm saying or or for lack of better words god's people you know what i'm saying so that is and and on top of that on top of that the original people were people of color you know what i'm saying but all those people were not chosen people. 
So, okay, we fell, we fell short chosen, of that. What and do you mean exactly by chosen? Because during that period that I'm talking I, about, I specifically people, mean I, when you I, say that because I, because some people during that time, and I'm just referencing some things I've heard other people, and I'm just throwing it in the air for either or to comment on. Um, when you say chosen people, like at, like they were born with this because they said the weaker tribes, like it was some form of a war or something going on where the weaker tribes were sold off. Right, but when I when I say chosen people, if we if we go to the Bible and we go to specific verses or or, or chapters, God basically outlined. Or he or or he spoke his covenant, the covenant, God's covenant was for a specific people. The chosen right. people. It says it says it in the Bible. Who these people were, where they were, you know what I'm saying, what they were entitled to by by birthright, and this and that. You know what I mean? It goes deep into it. So I, I'm I'm not just I'm not just making up, you know, the the, the existence oh. of a certain people being chosen. You know I what got, I mean? That's, 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 a real, that's, that's, that's a real thing that's, that's in the Bible. Not, that's not what I'm saying. I'm asking for you to define what you mean by that because when I'm pointing towards a specific time during slavery, it wasn't, from from what I have read and through conversation, it wasn't that 100% that, oh, just the Europeans came over and grabbed people. That the process were that weaker, Af you know, weaker African tribes were sold off by the stronger African tribes. That's why everybody didn't come. Right. The ones that did come were the weaker tribes. So you saying the stronger tribes, the kings and queens that remain were the chosen ones? Is that what you're saying? No, I'm not. I'm not gonna say that. I don't. I don't have. I need to. I need to do more research to to uh to find out more about um the uh the, the the african slave trade i don't i don't really too much know a, a lot about that but i also know that you know even even us as the chosen people we all we also had slaves you know what i'm saying so i'm i'm not i'm not i'm not trying to you know say uh, uh you know whether or not who who went into slavery and who didn't? All, all I'm trying to do is point out the fact that there is a there there is a, a, a specific group of people that on record God called his people. You know what I mean? And they had they had a God having a, a, a specific covenant with these people, and it was basically. Um, on record that if if they abide if if we abide by the laws, then the kingdom will be restored on 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 earth and and we will reign supreme again. But if we didn't, then we will be subject to these curses and the stuff that was called out as far as the curses go is direct in direct alignment of what we know we went through as as Americans here today you know what I mean I, I keep re reiterating that fact you know because it's like the way out the way I read the book now is from the perspective of say you had a question right say say our ancestors knew we would have these questions later on later on because it's it's all but prophecy, right? Right. It's read it now to me. It reads like the Bible knew our ancestors knew we would have these questions, so they answered the questions and gave us like 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 they asked the question and gave it the, the, the in in the same sentence. Like like for instance, right? We were all taught that you know um, God comes from this masculine uh perspective right um god created man in his image right and all that stuff right mm -hmm. but something told me just to read just to start from the beginning right so let's say to me and i, I don't want to know what y'all think about this 
because this, yeah. this been this been sticking with me for for like the last year or something, and nobody has really been able to, uh, you know, expound on it for me. But it says, okay. in the beginning, God created um, man, both man and woman, right? Right. They say, and and, and don't and don't, and I, I might mess it up. I, I I don't have my Bible with me right now, but. Is, don't don't quote me verbatim. I might mess up some 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 uh the sequence a little bit, but the gist of it was, uh, God said, "Let us make them in our image." Right. So earlier you said, "Who is God?" Right. So say our ancestors knew we you was gonna have that question. Right. Okay. So. They gave us the answer and answered another question. You say, who is God? It said, God said, let us make them. Who is them? What's the only evidence of them on the planet right now today? Man and woman, right? Right. Right. Let us. Like, who is us? It said, it said, it said God said, let us make them in our image. So that's the question and the answer. Who is God? Right? We ask who is God. The only evidence we got of God is our image, which is woman and man. Right. Are y'all are y'all with me? I'm listening to everything. So, so nobody nobody ever ever told never nobody ever taught me or or taught the people that I I've been around that they they never said it like that. They never they never said that God was plural and God was both man and woman. Nobody nobody ever nobody ever put it to us like that. They never even pointed out to us. They always said he. You know what I'm saying? But when you actually read Let me ask you this. I got a I got a good question for you. Now, you said man and woman, right? Let, let them be made in our image. Right? Is it further in the in the scriptures that God, Jesus descended from heavens. So when he was saying, let us make man in, in, in our image, mm -hmm. that's, that us, he was talking to the heavens. He was saying, let us, the people that's in heaven with us right now, let us mm -hmm. make them men mm -hmm. in our image. But it said man and woman, though. It does not say man and woman. Okay. It just says man. When, when God created man... From a man became a woman. He took the rib out of a man and made a woman. We got to check that. We got to check that. We got to. We got to check that because I clearly remember it saying, "Let us make. Let us make them." Man and woman. No, it didn't say man and woman. Okay. Now, now look. Now look. Take note, y'all. That's 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 a question, and this is good, healthy yeah, conversation. Did you hear you know what I'm saying? For 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 a reason. The question that he asked you. No, go ahead. Repeat it. Oh, I said, uh, you said that they said let 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 us make them in our image, right? Mm -hmm. Man and woman. Mm -hmm. So let me ask you this right fast before I before I go further. Do you believe in the Adam and Eve story? Uh, yes, but for different reasons. You know, I I do, okay. I do, I do, I do for dip for different reasons. Yes, I I do, because I, okay. I I believe I believe that that was also a parable. Mm -hmm. Mankind in our image, mm -hmm. just a new living, right? Let us make human beings in this thing. Let us make man in our image. Let us make man in our image. Mm -hmm. He says, let us make man in our image after our likeness, and let them have dominion over the fish in the sea. Mm -hmm. So let us, the heavens, the people that he's talking so to. So basically, LJ, what were you about to say <laughs> as far as after that okay, question? Okay, well, well, I was going to say is, yeah, and Doc, man, make sure you keep that question you had about Farrakhan. You, you still got that one, right? Yeah, yo, yo. Yeah, we gotta ask that right after this because we kind of dragging on this one too long. Yeah, but right. uh, what I was gonna say was, um, if you believe in the Adam and Eve story, okay, Adam and Eve 
let's just say Adam and Eve were black. You know what I'm saying? You do believe that us black people are the chosen people, correct? Yes. You do believe that. So if you believe that, uh, you got to think about the Adam and Eve story of that Adam and Eve produced every type of person we have on this earth, every type of race that's on this earth. So we're talking about, just think about every race right now, every nationality, whatever you want to call it. Think about mm-hmm. that. And, 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 and let's just say, like I said, Adam and Eve were black, and we are the chosen people. Mm-hmm. If we're the chosen people, Adam and Eve are black, then just think about this. If, if, we, if they birth all these other people, all these other races, and they're not as significant as us, mm-hmm. then why is almost every other race doing better in life than black people? And go, I know you're going to say that, you know, we didn't follow the laws and whatnot, but Mm -hmm. we're the original people. If you believe in Adam and Eve's story, we're original. How can the original be, uh, what do you say? You be stripped of your, of your power to be the lowest of the low of everybody else. And you, and you created everybody else. You know what I mean? Yeah, I, de- I definitely, I definitely feel you, man. And and uh, that's a that's a fantastic, that's a great question. You know what I mean? But it's like, um, we could just use we could we could use. Okay, one one of the main things that we have to also consider when we're talking about this, man, is nature. You know what I mean? That's that's a, that's a big part of us discovering the truth. You know what I'm saying? We so caught up in this and in that, but we don't look at nothing that's right in front of us. You know what I mean? Right. Everything in nature follows the certain laws of 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 life. You know what I mean? So it's like it doesn't matter if you are the tallest tree or, 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 or the oldest tree or the, or the, the, the oldest river or, or, or none of that. It don't matter if you, if you're original, you know what I'm saying? If, if the things that make you what you are, are no longer in place, you know what I'm saying? Like right. if, if, the, if the roots are cut, if the roots are cut from, from the oldest tree in the, in the, on, on the planet, if those roots are cut, that tree is gonna die. It's gonna fall. You know what I'm saying? We 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 getting we getting we we trying to make it more difficult than what it is. You know what I'm saying? We 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 are not abiding by the laws of life. Period. It's not, it don't got nothing to do with this people, that people, this people, that. It, it, it really don't. You know what I'm saying? It's just it's just we are on the bottom. We are right. suffering because we right, are you know, not you know. abiding by the rules of so life, man. And that's and that's the bottom line. So basically by you saying that someone could interpret you saying we went through say, slavery because of something that we did to ourselves. That's how someone could yeah. interpret that. Right. I mean, you know, you know, we are we also we also were subject to war. War is a real thing. You know what I'm saying, but you know there was a there was there was a certain time there was a certain time that we were in power, and because we stray we we strayed away from the laws of life, we became vulnerable. You, you know what I'm saying, and and right when prove that that during that time when we were in power, absolutely, absolutely, because absolutely. Because if you go, if you go to listen, hold on. No, 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 not what's in the book. I'm talking about what still exists on this planet. You know what I'm saying? If you go to just about any other uh, country, right, and look at their historical records, paintings, Europe, Europe is a, is a perfect example. If you, go to, if you go to Europe right now and go to the most powerful structure on the planet, the institution, the Vatican, right? 
If you go into the Pope's chamber to this day, while he's in there praying, he's going to be praying to the black mother and child. Black, black is black is black, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like everybody knows who we are, but us. You know what I'm saying? If you go to China, right? One of the so-called um, oldest, oldest uh, um, living yeah. people right now, you right? You go to China, the right? Timeline that I just said, though. So I'm saying point to where prior to if we're starting at the. If we're drawing a line in the sand and we're starting right at slavery by what Okay, saying, okay, okay. I'm saying because you skipping okay, now, okay. talking about the Nevada and all that. You skipping where can you prove up in there? Not saying you're right or wrong. I'm saying where can you prove up in there that because, you're because that all of that all of that there. all of that predates because all of that predates slavery. The Vatican predates slavery. Saying, I said that talk for, about for that, that purpose. particular time. I, I mean I don't know the dates, but but, but okay, let me ask you this. You know, you know, no, you know. Right now, Asia question. got got. You gotta answer that question, wait, wait, wait. though. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna give I'm gonna give you some dates. I'm gonna give you some dates. I'm gonna give you some dates. Okay, that particular date of that era of that time. I, I don't. I don't. Based off of what you're saying, you're saying that it that that happened to us because prior to that, we were kings and queens, and then going into slavery. We've okay. Lost I, now, the next time, the, the next time, by the laws, I'm saying, and then I ask, what do you have to prove, and you know, stand by that? Okay, okay. The next time we talk, I'll have more specific dates about the Vatican. But I give you yeah. another one though, right? Because it's just not the Vatican. It's well, it's, it's, it's all over. It's all over the world. Talk about the specific date that I'm, the era that I'm talking about. Well, you talking about, about pre predating slavery, right? If the overall question was, why did we start at the top and now we're at the bottom? And then you're basically not saying verbatim. You're saying basically we caused it on ourselves because we wasn't abiding by the laws. So if I point out a right. certain part in history of saying, OK, taking slavery in this era, basically you're saying we caused it to ourselves. OK, but you you saying slavery. Slavery is only only. Um... I don't, um, I don't it, even four, if it, four, even four or five hundred years ago. If, even if it's two seconds ago, I'm asking you to. I'm asking you to uh, prove what you're saying. To this I'm trying to give time. you proof. I'm trying to give you proof. I'm trying to give you proof by giving you proof of, of the existence places. of our reign of our reign prior to slavery. That's what I'm trying to do. So you telling me so when you go when I ask you that question, you start talking about the Nevada again and him praying in there to black, you're about to lead into without a half an hour story of that specific time right there to come back and say, I'm just asking so I'll know that you're not gonna talk all around this. No, I'm, no, no, I'm getting about to give you another example of proof of our reign in other places around the world that predated slavery. So you, that, that's you, that's, that's, the, that's the answer, answer right? Do you know what my question is? I, I think he didn't understand what you're asking. Uh, you're talking all go go you ahead, ask, ask, ask your question. The basic, ask your question, the again. basic question is, based off everything What's that my you're proof? saying, based off everything that you're saying, prove that this event happened because we were not following by our laws and this and that. What evidence do you have to support that to say to make it seem like it's a fact and not just an opinion? That's a good question. I mean, the only proof that I have is is evidence of us being in power all around the world. You know what I'm saying? That's that's all I have. That's the only proof that I have right now at this moment to pull off the top of my dome. That's I, right. I have, that's I have. He said within his question that we were at one time in the top, and now we're at the bottom. We already have established right. that. Right. That's been established. Right. So saying, so just finding another way of saying we were saying we were in power is not explaining this particular event. What, what I mean, the only other evidence that we have correct the all. That made the chosen people and the non-chosen people end up going into slavery. Since by your theory, apparently these individuals was not going by these laws to end up making this event happen. 
the only other evidence that we have is the records of the records of war and uh, 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 great accounts of our of of the records of war are in our religious texts not just not just Christ, uh the holy bible it's in the quran you know what i'm saying it's it's in the talmud it's in it's in um the buddhist text it's all it's it's all, it's all in, in 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 the text that's the that's the the most consecutive record of of world history so you know what i'm so saying that that's know, that's all know, that's all we're saying are. that basically by your saying that those two things are two separate those apples and oranges what you're so basically saying war created this situation not the actions of individuals not abiding by laws created the situation. Those are two. No, that's things. that's not what I'm saying. But that's not what I'm saying. I'm that's saying true. because we. we what you're saying, bro. No, no, no. Because I, I mentioned before, you know, what I'm saying right, right. I said right before. Um, what, what I said was us going away from the laws made us weak and susceptible. susceptible to be overtaken by war in war we be, we became weak you know what i'm saying so that's we why were, we were a certain against, era uh, a certain era to say right. what evidence do you have to prove that that theory is correct right that's the thing and that goes back to what one, i said Doc. one 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 what I said. okay okay do y'all do y'all know about the history the history of uh of of israel the two about, kingdoms in Israel. I'm talking about a little here and there, but that's still not directly talking about what we're talking yeah, about. I, I'm not completely. Yeah. I don't, what I, what I'm saying is, they just quoted the whole Quran, knowing that information. That's not talking right. about right now, based off of all the theories that you're giving, saying the reason why we're in this situation is because of this. That's plain and simple. Taking out all the extra. I mean, I, I, I feel saying. you. I feel you. I feel you. I feel you. I, you know what I'm saying. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna get some. I'm gonna get some more, some more concrete evidence for you. That's what I'm gonna do the next time we talk. You know what I'm saying. Y'all want me to. Y'all want me to quote dates right off the dome, and we I, just I having a conversation. You, you know what I'm saying. It's I'm all. It's all good. It's all day. good. I'm not asking you. We, you know what I mean. We're, we would like one more. One more evidence. One more evidence. Do you need? What? What more? What more evidence do you need? So let me ask you this. What am I asking you for evidence for? So we can, I can make sure that you're, you're, you're totally asking me. You're asking me. Asking you. You're asking me for evidence of of the reason we went into slavery. No, you, you're asking me for support evidence of the of the reason we go we went into slavery is because we brought it up upon ourselves by going away from the law. Right. Yeah, right. Hey, look right there. Right you want there, me to right give there. you? Want, you want me? You want me to give you? You want me to to call it, man? Come on. No, you know what I'm saying. Hey, look, you 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 missing? You you going over the? You throwing the ball too far, bro. I think you, so. You, and you I think you're doing it. Like how? Like how? Like how? 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 How else can the people be conquered? Like I I I, I, oh, I don't man. understand. You know what I'm saying? Like I I don't I don't get it. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, like what y'all trying to find out? Like, if you, if you, you to support if you are a weak people, if you, if you're a weak people, if, I mean, if, if you become weak, if your defenses are weak, you can be conquered. You can, you can go and you can okay. be brought into slavery. I don't, I don't understand. Okay. Okay. Well, listen, listen, listen. this is what, this is what me and Doc are trying to say here. All right. We, we get what you're saying. You know what I'm saying? We're not, we're not, saying that okay what you're saying is not valid or nothing like that we're saying that you're missing the overall point of what we're actually asking you we're asking you because you seem to have a little bit more knowledge on this than than we do we're just asking you you said that all this happened everything that's going on as we speak you know what i'm saying everything that's going wrong in the black communities or black countries black anything all the problems resulted from us not following the laws that were set for us, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. Now what I'm not saying is this. What I'm what I'm what I'm not saying is this. And 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 I know y'all gonna feel me when I say this. What I'm not saying is the majority of our oppression was not at the hands of somebody else. I'm not saying that. 
And that's not where I'm But what I am it. saying is But what I am saying is because we went away from the laws of life and being a strong people by following specific laws on how to live okay. with one another, right we, we became weak. Right we became weak. Okay. We became weak from not following the laws. Now, Doc, you remember that question you had? Right. That's what I was just about to say. This is a perfect time. Right. If you think about it, right. like, like I said, as far as I think I seen a speech by Louis Farrakhan and he was talking about Muslims. You know, we got Christianity, you got Muslims, you got Buddhism. And at one point in time, he said, Allah is basically just another name for God. The only thing that really separates the religions is each individual religion have certain things that they abide by that makes them a part of that religion. So to say what you're saying, you're quoting it by out of a certain book that these people were even abiding by those sort of same rules that you're talking about. To generalize something, to say from point A to point B, this is the reason why all this is happening because of this. And, you know, it's multiple different errors that we can go through to be like, okay, so why did this happen? So basically you're saying this happened because of going back to your original theory. I'm not saying it's not right or wrong. Yeah, because, because, I'm because, 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 because I look at it. Because other than because I look at it. can say is in my opinion, this is why these things. No, happen. because, because I look at it, because I look at it. I look, I try to my best to reduce things to the essence of things. You know what I'm saying? Not just, I, I'm not, I'm not looking at the problem and, and see how can I, how can I, I, I fix uh, the existence of something that occurred because of something else. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I want to get down to the root. I want us to get down to the root of it. You know what I'm saying? That's if we were if we, going to the root, but I'm going off of your theory and just yeah. asking you to support that theory. Let me, let me. Yeah, but it's, it's right not right. necessarily. Go ahead. It's not necessarily supportive. Your theory right. is not necessarily. No, nah, no, nah, I'm, I'm I'm not saying this. I'm not I'm not saying it's necessarily a theory. That's what that's that's the point I was trying to make. I'm not saying this is theoretical because okay. it's 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 a, a a lot. We we can look at look at today. We can look at today, right? Okay, we were also talking about earlier the conditions of our people in today's time. Like right, like take religion out of it, take all this all that stuff out of it, right? One of the main um, problems that we knew or, or that we know exist today is us as a people not being united. Comparatively speaking, yeah. you know, uh, um, you know, uh, against the other, the other cultures and 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 hey, me, people in the world, right? Let me come we 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 that. talked about. Go ahead. That. Yeah, let me come in on that. That's that was uh, that was Doc's question. That's what we were trying to get at. And that's what we're trying to focus on right now. Okay? Now, look. You know how you said Farrakhan. You know, you got Farrakhan that was speaking that said God. Or, you know, Allah means God. Okay? So you remember earlier. Let's go back. Remember how you said that books were taken out of the Bible. Allah, Allah, do, Allah, Allah, Allah does not mean God, though. Okay, so. Basically, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Keep going. We're going gonna, yeah, we, we to go back to that one. Keep that in mind. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, the point is, is that you got different religions, okay? And you remember how we, let's go back again. I said that all religions have truth in them. Every religion, that major religion at that, let's not say all the sub-religions, but let's just say major religions of today, and we know what those are, you know, your Buddhism, Christianity, uh, Islam, you know, those are your major religions that, that's worse than all across the world. So, but that right. being said, what if you remember you said, and that, and this is what I want you to go on after this. Now, this is something that you could talk on because it's gonna, it's gonna directly be, um, it's gonna have to do with the whole situation of everything we were just talking about. Okay. What if all these things that we, the reason that we are in the condition we're in right now, what if it's because, like Doc said with his mom, for example. And not just his mom. I'm sure I, a lot of people, family, we've done this before. Ourselves, we've done it. 
uh, if you ever had a Jehovah Witness knock on your door, I'm sure you have. You'd be like, man, them niggas crazy. I, I don't believe in what they're talking about. So, you know, it's bullshit, right? That, that's how a lot of uh-huh. people react to it. But what if it's not bullshit? So, you know, what if uh, Islam is not bullshit? What if Christianity is not bullshit? What if, bu- what if Buddhism is not bullshit? What if all these things are connected or the things or what if all of it's true? So what if we've just, we've been divided and we've all been deceived because we have parts of things that's been revised and rewritten and everything's been scattered and maybe. Yeah, but we, but, but we, but, but we, but we further along than that. We, we, we further along said, than that. Lero, before you said that, you said what? So let me ask you, when it says the name, the names of origin can be tracked back to the earliest uh, Semitic writings in the word in which the word God was E or Eli or something like that. <laughs> Allah is the standard Arabic word for God. Okay. Right. So what do you okay. mean? You saying stuff is facts though when it's not. Okay. All right. That's that's my bad. That's my bad on that one. Um. But but what I'm saying is we order. I, I, I apologize for that, LJ, and and, and uh, okay. I apologize for that. Um, you know, because I'm I'm a little I'm a little ramped up right now. But um, what I was saying is to 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 respond to what you were saying. We we're, we're older than that as far as like in the seek of knowledge, right? We all know that all of these things. Can't be, can't be truth because for one, we know that there are tactics of war, right? And one of the, one of the biggest, most prevalent tactic of war is divide and conquer, right? So if we're people on a separate, on, on, on this planet and we are separate and we all got different religions, that's evidence of division. Right. So, that also that's also evidence if you if you think about it that's proof of an evidence of a war tactic you know what i'm saying so we don't even have to talk about that part of it you know what i'm saying but what, 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 what we do but what we do but what we do have to pay attention to is the commonalities in all of it and that's truth because truth transcends you know, all cultures, all religions, everything. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it, truth, truth is everywhere. You know what I'm saying? So where, where they relate and where they complement each other, that's truth. And where they don't, you throw the rest of it out because you know that's, that's the religion part of it. You know what I'm saying? Okay. You, do you remember what else? That's, 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 huh? I'm oh, going to die. What you saying, Doc? No, I'm going to let you because I, I just, because I'm just, you know, I mean, my thing, and like I said, I'm asking questions. I want people to further, because there's going to be a ton of people that's going to have a ton of questions or a ton of statements from yeah. their research and ever in the comment section. Yeah. You know what I mean? So when you right. generalize and say from point A, from Adam and Eve to today, the reason why things are the way it is because people strayed away. So when you take, so you say it's an overall curse on everybody so even that individual that is living their life every day strictly out of the bible that still everything is not right what i'm saying that's what i'm saying support that theory yeah because it's not about it's not about uh, uh individuals you know what i'm saying it's about us as us as a human it down to the you know what i'm saying common denominator no. and all way in all the way up until and the and, and show me event. show me that person Show me that person, though. No, no, Show no, me no, that no, person. No, 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 no. I want to. I want to meet that person. I want to meet that person. I want to meet those people. I want to talk to those people that are following the laws to the T and suffering. I want to meet them, brother. They're all around. I don't know nobody. I, no, I don't. I don't know nobody. I never met them. I never met him. I never met nobody that's following the laws to the T that's suffering. So even when you I never met on, him. So even when you speak on in the Vatican and certain information that's of like you say, we living in an era where knowledge is at our fingertips, <laughs> where we know certain things about the Vatican, we heard certain things about the Pope, and they're living a certain type of life, and they're not doing right. I'm saying that's what I'm saying. Explain that theory. 
because it can be dissected from totally different angles from all t- different yeah angles. but we not we not we not talking about we not talking about we not talking about fruits of evil though you know what I'm saying? We not we not talking about that realm no, of, I'm of, out of energy. I just want to support that theory as if cause we not talking about bad fruit. Fat. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but we but we not talking about bad fruit. We talk about the chosen people. The chosen no, people can't live like that. that. I'm talking about the actual I'm statement that you said. But what you say, LJ? I was saying what you've done, brother, is you you don't realize what you've been doing this whole time. You've been putting your conversation into a box. You focus on one thing the whole time. And that's what Doc keep trying to trying to explain is that when this video is over and people are listening and they've done listening, they're gonna ask the same question over and over and over and over again in the comment section. They're gonna ask, Well, how can you just say that that we've all been cursed and every person is cursed, even the people that's living right. And you said it's no people living right. Brother, I'm not trying to. I'm not, I'm, but, but, I'm, but I'm not, I'm not saying ain't nobody living let's right, let's right let's though. That's not, that's not what I'm, that's not what I'm saying. That's what he's saying. And then maybe you understand Brother. fully what each one of us is saying. Yeah. Right. Go ahead. I'm not trying to disrespect you at all, brother. When I say that, I mean it. I'm not. I have none but respect for you because we sit now in a civilized conversation. So I don't have no disrespect towards you when I say this. What I'm saying is to say something like that is ignorant. That is not using logic. It is plenty of people, whether they are Buddhist, Islamic, rather whatever they are, man. I don't care what they are. It's people that live by rules, laws that they believe to be true, and they're suffering. So you're gonna tell okay, me and 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 and, and it's nothing, and it's and, and and that's and that's nothing wrong with you saying that, but it's also nothing wrong with me saying, introduce me to that person or those people that are living according to the laws of life to the T and are suffering. I want to know. Brother, I want to meet them. Saying that, you're saying that out of all the how many ever billion people that no one is following by their exact doctrines. I, I don't know about everybody. I just know about us. And to add to that point, hold on. That's what I mean. Hold on, hold on. To add to that, which is going off of a box. To add to that, to add to that, to add to that, right? To add to that, it's not about individuals. That's another thing. That's another tool and another strategy that was implemented okay. for us to it's be divided. It's not about individuals. It's not about individuality. It's about and a it's unit. About so, so if one it's person, if one person, hold on, hold on, wait. If one person, okay. or say, say a hundred people, right, out of a community are living right, but the majority of the community is not living right, those hundred people that are living right go suffer. Because it takes all of us as a unit to be on one accord. To, to help and to, you know what I'm saying, uplift each other. We cannot be, we cannot uplift, you know what I'm saying, ourselves if we are not moving as one unit, bro. So what? It's not gonna happen. There we go. So that goes back to what I said and Doc questioned not too long ago. The fact of the matter is, what if we are divided because all these religious doctrines that are different and we have put labels on those things? What if that's the reason we're divided right now, man? You're not getting the point. The point that's is that's one reason. You, that's that's one reason. Let's just say you're a Christian, and you tell anybody else that doesn't believe in that Christianity, you say, "Well, guess what? I don't care what you say because Christianity is right. I'm one of the chosen people." No, I'm, you no, no, I'm not. No, 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 I'm not. I'm not. I'm not going. I'm not. I'm. I'm, I'm not standing on Christianity. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't, I don't, I don't, no, I don't believe in religion. I don't believe in religion. You know what I'm saying? But I do believe in our history. And it just so happens that the Bible, what they have used to uh, uh, project Christianity, it just so happens within that text, within that book, is our history. You know what I'm saying? I'm standing behind the history. I'm not standing behind the religion. You know what I'm saying? Okay, that's that's, that's the I point mean, I'm trying to make. We have to have the same history, right? When I right. say that, I don't mean it we in a do. way. 
like like you said, it's not individual. It's, it's not about being individuals or anything. I'm just I'm the type of person I question any and everything because if we talking about as a whole, you say right. as a whole, this whole group or this category of people, regardless if it's you say a million people. And if you got a hundred thousand out of them, that's not doing right. It can affect all of them, right? And you put you already putting people in the box by saying this group of individuals. Now with technology, but why? Was, but why oh, is that? Why, 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 but why is that necessarily a box? No, I'm about to go with it. If you cut me off, man, hold on, y'all let him finish. Let him finish. Let him finish. So with technology and everything that we have to today, what if out of those million people, them people start doing a little bit more research on themselves and find out? The person that may look like you might not have the same history as you might not come. You know what I'm saying? Everything exactly. So that's why I call it a theory, because you're grouping people already and saying this is happening to all of these people because of this one thing. But then when you take that group and break it, you have to still break it down to individuals because everybody that's putting that is like. It's some people that's over here in America. Okay, it's okay, that's a good point. That's America a good point. Consider African Americans, but once they did they ancestry.com or whatever found out their real history they really don't even supposed to be in that box these boxes I understood though but, right? hold but hold on but hold on but but wait a minute but wait a minute but wait a minute that box you're thinking about is bigger than you actually think when i'm talking about this that. this historical text because it's it's written in the text it's written in the text right it's not just one tribe you know what i'm saying it was many tribes i, I would say it was up to 12 of them right so you got Indians, you know what I'm saying, that was part of the chosen people. You know what I'm saying? You got Haitians that was part of the chosen people. You got Peruvians that so was part of saying, the chosen people. So let me ask you, you know what I'm saying? saying? You got are some you Africans saying? that was part of the tra- So why when you Go get ahead. to Africans, you say some, but the rest of them, you're not saying some? Because that's a continent. You know what I'm saying? That's That's a continent. That's a you continent. Saying, I, I'm as talking about it's, it's, as, it's, as a group, though. Because I said I said I named other countries, but when I got to Africa, Africa is a continent. So I, I I said some Africans. So why are this? You understand why what I'm saying? Only place is broken down, but no one else is. I'm just asking you because I just want to. I just want to understand. Okay, I, I'll say sense. Israel then, because 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 it was multiple tribes within that continent. You know what I'm saying? I, I didn't I didn't go and go so go how, far. How, how do you think? And not even talking about us no more. If you was having the same conversation and we were just all Jewish, you you know, we were just all Jewish and we having the same exact conversation, do you don't think the viewers and the listeners, they would automatically go back to the Holocaust and say, so basically we caused this on ourselves because we were not abiding by certain doctrines? No, I'm not going to say that. I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to say that. I'm not going to say that. Switching the people, switching the same but we don't, but, but we don't know. To a different group of people. But hold on. But hold on, though. Hold on, though. We don't know the true history behind the Holocaust. And another thing that, that's Ooh. never brought up, we don't, that's, that's never brought up is that they, they massacred more blacks over there then they did the Jews. It was all, it was only like, you know, I don't know how many a, a couple million of them, but it was it was like 40 or 50, you know what I'm saying, million of us or, or I'm, I'm just throwing numbers out there. It, it was it was way more than, than us over there than it was them. I'm not trying to knock right. nothing from take nothing away from them. They went through, huh? I, I never heard that one, man. Uh, Doc, you ever heard that one? No, uh uh-uh. I never heard that one, bro. I think you. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Nah, no, nah, no, nah. No. It was, it was a, it, it was a massacre of our people that predated them. You know what I'm saying? And it's, 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 it's are you deeper. It's deep. A they, they history. Era, or are you talking about a whole new yes, era? Yes, okay, yes, I'm yes, asking you yes. I, that, I'm gonna do my research on that. The Holocaust, the Holocaust era. The Holocaust era. It predated. It predated the the the, the Jewish Holocaust. Right, and it was it was a, a higher number of 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 deaths and executions, you know what I'm saying, of our people that was in that region, you know what I'm saying, the same region, the same the same people behind the gun and all of that, you know what I'm saying, but it's but it's never it's never uh promoted, or 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 that's that's uh information that's stashed away. You know what I'm saying? It's 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 it's, it's deep, bro. You, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's not enough. 
Hey, I got, I got some doc. I got some doc. Because I think we need to, we need to turn this this conversation a little different, a little different. You know, we kind of focusing on the same topic too long. Let's 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 pick this up. Let's pick this up Um, another time. We almost at like, you know, what I'm saying almost at two hours. Let's pick it up another time. Let me get some more, uh, do some more research, and then you know, I would I would love to get back on the line. And, and and do this again at a, at a, at, a, at another time, man. I, I really I really would, but I got to, I got to go. Yeah, I got to go. Anything that you say and you said as a fact, you know, I'm just saying. Besides us asking questions, because I just want you to be able to support what you're saying, because there's going to be people that's going to listen to this. Just and look this up the Black Holocaust. The whole thing that they do in their whole life is look up. History. T- okay, everybody, at, all, all, all the listeners, right now, and I'm not seeing no. Look up, look up the Black Holocaust. Right what do you think? I'm, I know I ain't no dumb motherfucker. I know how to use Google and research, nigga. You know what I'm saying? I'm not seeing none of. I ain't saying. I, I said the people. I was, I was talking to the people. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I and I did say if y'all rewind the interview when I said it. I said I'm I'm throwing numbers out there, but I can't say that it, factually that it was more uh, people that were killed in the Black Holocaust than it was in the Jewish Holocaust. You know what I'm saying? I was throwing numbers out there, though. And you said under the same. I did gun. say that. When you say about under the same gun, you mean up under Hitler and all that? So I don't want to say Hitler per se. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't want to say Hitler per se, but, but definitely under, def, definitely in that same region. You know what I'm saying? That, that, the same, uh, the same region, dog. The same region, the same, the same army, but I don't know who, who was in, who was in power at that time. I don't know if it was Hitler or, or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Hey, we're going to do, we're going to do us a little bit more research, man. We're, we're going to come back a little, a little bit. For the next time, we're a little bit more fun. And, uh, you know, hey, look, I want to thank both of y'all brothers, man. Look, thank both of y'all for the time, bro. I appreciate both of y'all. And Doc, man, you know, definitely, bro. Big ups to you for actually helping me because it's going to help me do it. I'm, uh, get my message across as well. And, um, you know, we, we working together as a team to, uh, to spread some truth, man. And everybody that listens Absolutely. to this, you know, uh, we we have nothing but love and respect for all people. We're not trying to disrespect anybody or make anybody feel um, unloved or anything like that. It's not what we're doing. We're just out here trying to provoke um, positive thinking and um, intelligent thinking. Just to know? create dialogue. The dialogue going to yeah, if nothing else. If nothing else. If, yeah, right. Now, if you made it this far to the end, I want to say thank you. Hopefully... This conversation sparked some dialogue within the individuals that's paying, that's watching this and listening to this. So make sure that you drop a comment. It's going to be a link in the description to my new podcast. And the reason why, and I'm going to say it here and I'm going to explain it more on my podcast on one of the next episodes. Where it's going to be more of these type of discussions. But on any and everything, it's going to go down to relationships. You know, maybe the breakdown between black men, how we interact with each other. How uh, black men and black women, just society. I'm talking about every type of conversation that you could possibly think about. We're going to discuss at some point in time, and it may not be the same exact individuals, but it's going to be special guests, at least once or maybe twice a week, on different topics. So make sure you hit that link in the description. It's called Hip Hop Dope Spot Podcast. It's on Castbox. And it's going to be featured on other platforms in the next week or two. We're working on getting all that stuff situated. But make sure you subscribe there. Do that for me. If you really mess with my channel, you re- mess with my movement, and you like what we got going on, and you just want to be a part of it, because everything that you do, it helps me as well. When you leave a comment, it helps the channel. When you hit like, it helps the channel. When you share the video, it helps the channel. So everything that you do, it is much, it's very appreciated. And make sure you continue to support, and I love you guys.